four goal differential, and it looks like the risers are knocking on the door, <laughs> knocking on the door already. Uh, the risers will be wearing their green kits, moving from left to right off the bar early again. Risers just can't find the back of the net. Um, uh, this is gonna get out of hand, Justin. Quick. Is, it looks like it. Uh, <laughs> Danny's gonna be pushed up a lot this game. <laughs> Our, our starting lineup tonight has Daniel Sherpy in the back, uh, keeping the keep the the sheets clean. Hopefully, uh, Robinson, uh, our newcomer Paris across the back with Arshavin and Manny Jashimidian, uh, Hofdog, Rojo, Siete, and Omar Nahar working through the midfield, and Cliff Leonard, Marshall, the new Muskegon riser transfer, and Jack Wilds across the top. Uh, oh, notice that. Super Bowl. Sorry. Notice that Coach Styles is off tonight. Uh, I believe he was on vacation, um, and I guess the PS4 is too big to, to make it on the trip. So, Isaac, how you doing today? Uh, doing good. Doing good. Good. You said it early. This one looks like it could get out of hand if the risers get on the board, get the floodgates going. We're all, we've already had a few shots on net. Almost 100% possession. Uh, we just had a corner kick. Risers are going to need a big win here. I mean, we were, I believe, 10 goals. Or 10 or 11 goals back in goal differential. And when it comes playoff time, we want that number one seed. Yeah, um, I'm expecting four or five this game. That'll help us claw back. Yeah. Now, our second match of the game we played Duluth, and they they've they are coming off of a big win against Fort Worth earlier this week. So I'm excited to watch that game as well. Do we uh, do we know what the score was by chance? I don't have a score. I know that Fort Worth three one says Danny. What's the call, sir? Looks like they're bringing it all the way back for offside. Long clearance from the Milwaukee goalkeeper. Swinging around the back is Muskegon. Now working up through the center, it's Omar. Out to Leonard, to Marshall. Back to Leonard. Leonard take you. It's got to be a PK, no? Oh, my. Atlanta. Man, from my angle, it looked like he beat, what, six defenders probably? Yeah. And was taken down in the box. But I, I don't know how you not on. call that. Is there, is there a simulation button that you can press to try to draw fouls? There's no way that wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Milwaukee trying to get some sort of possession, but the, the risers midfield and back line are just too organized. Milwaukee was only attacking with about two players. Now they're bringing a third straight down the center. Omar recovers well to win the ball back for the risers. Lux out wide to, to Wilds. Wilds. Drops it back, working through the center with help from Hofdog and Rojo. Osiete. Looking up over the top for Leonard. Milwaukee does well to clear the ball back. Risers do well to win the loose ball. Rojo Siete now working. Finds Wilds. Now Siete. Finds Marshall. Marshall's in on frame. Oh, has a shot. Gosh. Can't find the back of the net. It is a riser's corner kick. We're looking good. We're getting in the box a lot. We just can't seem to put it away. I think we have five or six shots already on target. I I think your count's pretty good. Um, it's Wilds here. Another shot. Marshall There we go. Tap in the rebound. We picked him up with it. Well, the transfer window is open, and he's already has a handful of goals for the risers. Yeah, he's been playing well since he came. Um, I'm glad we were able to pick up uh, someone to fill the shoes. I don't know if that was Coach Styles recruiting or, or scouting report. Whoever saw him, good call. <laughs> It's now Milwaukee on the ball, intercepted by Hofdog. 
working with Omar back to Leo, and now Robinson working his way up the field. He's got nothing but space in front of him. He finds Omar in the middle. <laughs> it's Leonard working into the box, trying to get around that last back. He's surrounded by about three defenders, though he just couldn't find the right ball. Robinson does well to pressure the, the relief pass from Milwaukee as they force him back into their defensive third. Do we know if Coach Styles is watching the game tonight? That's a good question for Stream Master Danny. <laughs> okay. Robinson collects the ball, finds Omar. Omar finds Leonard. Referee says play on, gives advantage to the risers. It's now Rojo Siete. Finds great a great ball. ball to Leonard. Leonard just can't put it away. I know he struggled last week, and so it'll be good for him to get back on the scoreboard. It's Hoff Dog in the middle. Now Riser's working it outside. Now Marshall has Leonard. Leonard has space in front. All he's got to do is finish it, and he does. Cool, calm, collected. Back of the net for Clifford Leonard. Risers are up 2 0. Great ball. That that goal just touched out the uh, the halftime whistle as we are coming up to the final seconds of the first half. So it's good to go in with uh, momentum. So they're uh, negative eighty seven <laughs> hold differential. Well, the numbers that I saw were pre games on Tuesday, so I don't know how they sh how they showed or how they did on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to take a guess that they lost both, but we have 61% possession, seven on target. Holy bananas. They had the shot early, but Sherpy did well to collect it. Uh, I mean, this is just kind of a total onslaught by the by the risers here. Yeah, it's uh, really, it, we, there's two or three of those we probably should have put in the back of the net. We hit the bar in the first 30 seconds of the game, I think. <laughs> twice if, we're, if we make it 45. <laughs> <laughs> After the quick halftime, the risers are returning to the pitch. Uh, we are moving from right to left this half, still in our all-green kits. It's Wilds on the ball, working with Hofdog. Now to Paris. Now Leonard. There we go, Danny. Oh, well, we forgot the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hoff dog trying to play the ball outside. Second attempt gets it, finds Omar. He has an opportunity on the back bar, but their goalkeeper does well to get the slot across. Something tells me, Justin, that Danny's going to be creeping up, particularly in the second half with a 2-0 uh, lead. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Now Milwaukee working with the ball. They're attacking with two again. Very, very light attack. Uh, Robinson intercepts the ball easily. Goes back to Sherpy. Sherpy finds Robinson. Up to Leonard. Leonard has two in front of him. Little cheeky turn pass to Omar. Omar goes back to Leonard. Let's see what Leonard does. He finds Marshall. Marshall puts the ball on frame. Save. Nice save by the Milwaukee goalkeeper. We are cutting through their midfield with Ease, give and goes. They're not like even a, a hot knife through butter. Yeah, seriously though. Is that a saying? I think that's a saying. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that once or twice in my play right. day. I won't I won't claim being creative enough to claim that uh that phrase then. <laughs> Milwaukee here on the counter attack working down the outside, Robinson recovering well. The long early cross in Sherpy comes out, gets a mitt to it. Punches it out. Rojo Siete collects the loose ball. Finds Wilds. Who now finds Omar. Omar has two options. He goes up over the top for Leonard. Leonard cuts it back out of the air. That was good. not a nice oh, quick one, two, three. Oh, Another my God. opportunity got down by the Milwaukee goalkeeper. He's been the star of the show today so far. Seriously. I mean, I, mean, I know we've we've snuck two past him, but we've had we had seven shots on frame in the first half and our pace hasn't slowed down at all. 
No, it, it should be four or five zero, but he's done a phenomenal job. Off dog with the long clear, trying to find Marshall's chest. Milwaukee did well to win it out of the air. Now coming back, Robinson says, absolutely not. We're going back the other way. Leonard has Marshall in front. He plays it out in front. Marshall has two defenders, cuts it back, beats them both. He puts Yikes. them both on the ground. It's Leonard who finishes it. Oh, my goodness. Marshall with the cheeky touch. Brought, he broke four ankles on that play. Was able to find Leonard inside the box who tucked, tucked it away nicely. I feel bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he, if, if they slid and tackled his own defender. I, it was just not great defending there. No, not at all. Milwaukee now working their way back, trying to get some sort of offense, playing direct through the center. Paris does well. Wow. That's Referee foul on Paris. We have Milwaukee over the ball. Decent range free kick. Steve Perry. What a save. Sure, if he goes to ground well, collects it. Quick punt looking out to Omar. Takes it out of the air, finds Marshall, who has nobody in front of him. Uh, he looked like he was trying to find Omar back on the backside, uh, but the pass was intercepted. Robinson now collects the ball at midfield. Yeah, you're bad, Danny. <laughs> Rose yet they now working with Omar finds Wilds on the outside Wilds defender goes to ground he cuts it back back to Siete Siete to Wilds Wilds has an opportunity finds Marshall Marshall to the back of the net fantastic work from the risers textbook it's just tiki taka all the way through the back risers extend their lead 4-0 into the 74th minute of the game You can only uh, save so many. Yeah, seriously. I, I still have to give props to the goalkeeper for the saves he has made. Um, but, you know, he's seen a lot of shots. The risers are back behind the, the, the Milwaukee defense again. Unable to put it in the back of the net, though. Well, I was saying, you can only... Or he sees so many shots, I'm sure, over the course of the season that... Yeah, his save percentage, I mean, it's probably sky high. Risers now. Omar finds Wilds. Wilds to Marshall. Marshall has a host of risers following him. Goes back to Wilds outside. Wilds has one defender. Couldn't do the job. Milwaukee coming back the other way. Just looks like the Milwaukee... When they play defense, they play defense with only about four players, and the entire midfield doesn't recover, or at least um, doesn't recover well. They just Ro not showing up to the office. <laughs> putting another away, Marshall. I think that's his third on the day, maybe his fourth. He's just the big, the big center striker, man. He's got the hot foot today. It's Leonard now. Has Marshall again. Marshall with another one. Uh, it's it's getting ugly now. I feel bad now. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I feel bad for the keeper. He seems to be the only uh, decent player on the team. <laughs> Milwaukee trying to get something going. Hoff Dog does well to shut it down yet again. That's just been kind of his thing all day. Nobody gets past him. Uh, just another day in the office for him. Wilds now on the outside. Decides to go backwards. Yeah, just give it to Danny. Danny's making the run on the opposite oh. side. Danny! He can hit the back of the net. We've been waiting for this all season. Oh my goodness. In the 90th minute, Danny Robinson with the with the, the finishing touch on the night. Oh 
we're gonna we're gonna have to hear from Danny after this. Oh, absolutely. I, I can't wait. Interview. Oh, against all odds. Oh man, look at that conversion rate. Total attempts seven, goals four. He only missed three shots. <laughs> yeah. All right, Danny, take your stats real quick, man. We gotta hear from you. How do you feel? He's speechless. He's speechless. <laughs> Greatest feeling ever. All right. Sorry, I had to fix my mic so they could hear me on the thing. So, yeah, they couldn't hear me in the buildup, but I called that one out like the great Bambino. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize everybody else couldn't hear you, Danny. Yeah. Oh, I'm disappointed about that. Yeah, that, that would have been some good audio to catch. <laughs> I don't know how you're feeling, but like I, I feel electric right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it feels good to get my uh, first goal in the ENPSL. Um, to you know, solidify that we're bringing home the Michigan Cup. <laughs> do you do you feel that you redeemed yourself after missing the PK now? Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> definitely. See, the thing is, is this one. I don't think there was anybody even in front of you. It was just an empty net. I mean, elite finishing, elite run. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was, I, I mean, perfection. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about perfection, but it ended up in the back of the net. Oh, man, if I would have missed that, oh, God. See I think I'd be joining you guys in the broadcast booth and they'll have another uh, streamer. <laughs> oh well risers took care of business in the first match today um going into it we knew this could get ugly we were right now by far the bigger match of the night in terms of the overall standings uh we have duluth coming up hopefully we don't have the extended break like we had on Tuesday. Hopefully Duluth is ready to go right away. I hope. But this will be a this will be a much more difficult game for the risers, I think. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see how organized we are without Coach Styles. You know, we won 7-0 this game. Obviously, we can say we look great. But, again, that team um, kind of sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's going to be intriguing. I hope Coach Styles uh, is watching. This is to see how our boys do. Um, but... We'll see. Did I catch that Marshall was given a overall 10 rating? Yeah. A perfect rating? Yeah, he had the perfect game. Well, he was only 4 for 7. <laughs> I don't know if that's perfect. I mean, it's good. I thought what Danny should have had it. Say, he didn't score from left back. <laughs> uh, I, think I, can, four Colts would... I think we can get a guest today, hopefully. Hey. Let me start messaging these guys. Yeah, let's get on, let's get on the interview train early today. Yeah. Put on some music so it's not awkward. Quiet. <laughs> Does Clifford Ladder plays for us, right? Uh, yeah, he's actually the impromptu manager. Right? He, 
he comments today when we were talking about Danny moving up. Coach Style wasn't here today. Couldn't stop it. (laughs) 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 You know know he would have been in your ear. (laughs) I know. It's it's it won't happen this game. So you never Fort know. Worth, opportunities may present itself. We have breaking news. Fort Worth now up on Denton two to one. That's good for us. Yeah, Denton is currently at the top of the table from my stat guy. Could you say that again, Isaac? I missed it. Uh, Fort Worth is not. Uh, they're up two to one on Denton. Oh, and that is at the top of the table right now. So that's bi- that's big for us. So Fort Worth is kind of giant slayers right now. Yeah, they yep. Top teams they play good, and I guess bad teams they don't do so hot. <laughs> we we do we have the fifteen minute intermission? Uh, it looks like... Looks like we're going. Yeah, it looks like we're going. Nice. Oh, yeah. I got a, I got an early tea time tomorrow morning. <laughs> Game time. <laughs> All right. I'm slightly nervous about this game, not going to lie. Just because we played such a bad team, and uh, you don't want to, you don't want to just keep up the the sloppy play because you can get away with it. Yes. I feel like that was a shot at me, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, man? We've been praising you all night now. All you got to do is score. <laughs> you set the bar real high for yourself tonight. <laughs> We are back with the second match for the Muskegon Risers. Taking. Oh, well. Psych. I don't think that's an automatic forfeit of the table. I think we just have to go back and restart the game. Correct, Danny? Yeah. I mean, we'll take the forfeit if they're offering, though. Breaking news. Fort Worth officially beats that in 2-1. to one. Nice. It's a big win for them. Did we play the four-two-three-one formation in the first match? I believe so. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that would w- explain why uh, Wilds was playing a lot. I guess not as deep as our typical four-three-three. Getting back more in the defensive play. I like this formation better, to be honest. Gave Marshall a lot of space up front to work with. Mm hmm. I forgot to pause the music on that last startup. Are we are we gonna see a, another goal from you, Danny? We are not. <laughs> I love the confidence. <laughs> not, no no forty yard banger? No. Not against this team. Actually, I don't think there's anyone left on the schedule for me to go up the field that far again. That's not the confidence <laughs> I was looking to hear. <laughs> Maybe in playoffs. <laughs> Championship game winner? <laughs> the, the unlikeliest of, of heroes. I would riot in the streets. I would go crazy. <laughs> I hope it's on a PK. <laughs> That would be awesome. And we are back a second time with the beginning of the Muskegon Risers' second match tonight against Duluth FC. Uh, The Risers have changed into their blue kits. They were a little sweaty after the first match in their green, so going with the fresh kits. And they're moving from 
Duluth, again, has had a very strong week. They've taken down some of the top teams in the league. Um, but not this time. Riders are, are, are coming off of a huge victory over Milwaukee. And we're going to just keep the, keep the momentum going. It's Robinson on the ball. Breaking now news. To Omar. Buffalo beats Temakula, or however you say that name, two to one. Temecula? Yeah, that, that, yep, mm hmm. <laughs> I, when you said Timakula, I thought you were talking like, like, like a, just a regular guy's name, like Tim. Oh. Makula. Yeah, I butchered <laughs> that. <laughs> I think we lost Justin there, not sure. Riser's working it wide on the line. Oh, pass it. Beats a couple of the, what a save. There we, top shelf outside the box. Couldn't really see who's Sir. That scored in the 16th minute. You see, jo I see you, Justin, but I, I can't hear you. Keeper sends it wide. Guys, hey, I'm, I'm back. We're you're back. Good. I was starting to sweat over here. <laughs> that's that's two nights in a row, man. Having these technical issues. I just just moved houses, and I gotta gotta get the the Wi-Fi figured out. I guess. You gotta find the hot spots, you know. Yeah. No kidding. You like froze, so I, I I didn't know if we were gonna come back or not, and I waited, waited. Well, in my in my brief disappearance, it looks like the risers scored. Oh, top shelf outside the box. Top cheddar. Oh yeah. <laughs> who uh, who who tucked it away? Danny, you know who? Hoff dog. I think that's one of. I don't think he's scored yet for the um, ENPSL. No, he's had a couple of chances, but he roofed it. That's fantastic play. Riser's now working through the through the center, dispossessed by Duluth as they work back the other way. Battle for the ball at midfield. Duluth comes away with it as they retain possession, playing up over the top. Big recovery run from Hofdog collects the ball, finds Leonard. On the outside, playing with Nahar, referee says play on as, as Leonard was fouled. Now it's Rojo Siete. Dispossessed. He was triple teamed right at midfield. Duluth has a big opportunity. Danny steps in the way, knocks the ball out. Oh, no. But the, but the Rivers, Risers give it right back. Duluth has an opportunity. Oh. <coughs> Is it still Sherpy and Net? Standing on his head, as usual. Fantastic save. Full extension. Yeah, um, they look a lot better than Milwaukee. Or whoever we just played. It's Milwaukee, right? Yeah, it was Milwaukee. Aren't they um, aren't they supposed to be our rival? They are our rival. Um typically you'd like to see closer matches in rivalry games. Uh I know the outdoor league is 
a lot more, I guess, competitive. Well, that's good. <laughs> but, but you also like to uh, destroy the other squad. Oh, yeah. Score as many as you can. That's why they keep track. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Duluth plays it up over the top. Risers do well to recover. It was Leonard all the way back. The left mid <laughs> recovering back inside of the his own 18. It's fantastic That's defense. Great hustle. Wilds now to finds Marshall. Marshall finds Leonard. Leonard working the entire field. Wilds gets into the box, has two to beat, cuts it back, oh. dispossessed, wins it right back. Finds Rojo Siete outside the box. Now it's Omar dispossessed again by oh, the Duluth back line. Not a very good clearance pass. Rice has collected at midfield. Now starts swinging it around the back. Now playing up is Rojo Siete. It's Omar out to Wilds. Wilds looking long to Leonard. Let's see if he can settle. He does well to settle. Breaks it down. Cheeky from Leonard. Goes, has to win, win the, the loose ball back himself. He does not. The, the Duluth, Duluth comes away with it. And Hoff Dog steps in, knocks it out of bounds for a Duluth throw it. We are into stoppage time at this point. Just a few seconds left until halftime. Risers have the 1 0 lead going into halftime. It was a goal from Hoff Dog. Uh, an absolute banger. Top cheddar is what I was told. I believe that uh, that's our, our, our gift of the day, actually. It's the top cheese. Really? Yeah, I, I thought I saw I thought I saw that on Insta. <laughs> Risers have a slight edge in possession, fifty-seven to forty-three. Uh, shots on shots on target, also in favor of the Risers, two to one. So things are looking good. It looks like our defense has been solid. Only only allowing two shots and only one really quality opportunity. Yeah, we haven't had much opportunities either. I mean, that shot outside the box, uh, when he shot it, I wasn't thinking it was going to go in, to be honest. But we haven't had very many chances. They look way more organized than the previous team we just played. And it's a good match. Good. It will be Duluth with the start of the second half knocking the ball back into their defensive third and playing out of the back, working up towards midfield. Hofdog does well to slow down the, the attack. Risers push it, push it central. And Paris does well to collect the direct ball through the center. Risers unable to play out of the back as they, they give it back to Duluth. Big turnover in favor of the Risers now. It's now Leonard working with Marshall. Marshall is in behind him. He just can't get his shot off. It was defended very well. He had his entire jersey in his hand. Yeah, he wanted a souvenir. <laughs> now it's Rojo and Siete and Wilds working together on the top of the box. Duluth back line does well to, to win the ball and clear it back towards midfield. Ooh, keeps it in play on the touchline. Duluth now working on the left side. Defended well again by the Risers back line. Not giving up a shot. Hofdog with space out in front. Coming up to midfield. Lays it off for Paris. Paris swings it around to Robinson. Robinson now working with Hofdog. Risers playing well through the Duluth pressure in the midfield. It's Leonard now. Leonard keeps it. Goes back to Hofdog, changing the point of attack. Now Siete to Omar. Oh. Omar, he was looking for Marshall into the box. Uh, but Duluth clears it up and out of play. Robinson on the throw in. It's Omar now. Finds Leonard in the box. Leonard has a choice to make. Puts oh. it on frame. But a nice save by the Duluth, Duluth goalkeeper. Was that a shot or a pass deflected? It was hard to tell from my angle. Uh, I hope it was a pass. <laughs> it would have been an ambitious angle to have to have a shot from. Oh. Luth now getting in behind, but Paris does well to collect the heavy touch. Rises trying to clear. Rojo Siete brings it down, knocking it up. Uh, 
to Marshall. Marshall plays it to Wilds. Wilds to Omar. Omar has space, one in front of him, finds Leonard. Leonard coming to the opposite side of the field, trying to get it back across the box. Maybe he'll win it back again here. Defensive help from, from Wilds. Duluth does well to play out of the pressure. Now working their way across midfield. Robinson shuts it down. Plays Marshall. Marshall has Leonard out in front. Leonard goes, tries to play the early ball in for Wilds, but the, the Duluth left back was all over it. Coming into the 68th minute now, Riser still with a 1-0 lead. The Risers have been pushing into space. It was a offside, I believe, on the Risers. Long ball up over top. Played by Duluth. They play in behind now. Robinson does well to read the ball across the six. Able to maintain possession now. Risers through midfield already on the, on the transition. It's Omar with one defender. He cuts it back. Finds Leonard in the midfield. No. Trying, slotted through for Wilds. It was a tight ball, but it would have been a fantastic ball had it worked. Risers are attacking just from all angles. It looks like they, they're they really close to the that last penetrating ball through. Just yeah, we've had it. a couple of them like that. That Just that one final pass, it's kind of there, just not quite, you know. Trying to force it just a little too much. Mm-hmm. Hoff dog wins the ball, goes out to Wilds. Wilds knocks it back. Now it's Rojo Siete working out to to Wilds. Wilds goes over the top for Leonard. Leonard has the one touch. Oh, oh, no what oh, a what, ball! It was a great look. Wilds just a little scoop of a pass up over the back line. Leonard let it fall right in front of him, takes it off the volley, and it just eats the woodwork. When he first made that 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 pass, I thought it was going to that first guy. I didn't even see it, the second one making the run. I didn't see him until the ball was about to land. Oh, I I think the defenders were right there with you because they left Leonard all alone. Yeah. And every, every single one of them followed Marshall on the the initial run. Marshall now with a similar ball for Leonard. Leonard leaves it for Wilds. Wilds. Oh. Doesn't get a shot off, but Marshall collects it from the top of the box, finds Leonard. Leonard has a shot, big save, and touched out for a corner for the Muskegon Risers. Oh, we're knocking at the door for that second goal. They're hungry. They want it. Just a little. Risers go short, Wilds. Oh, oh my God. Looks for, looks for the back bar. Is it a penalty? Send them. Send them off. Referee says it is a penalty. Is it? It's Leonard over the ball. A big <laughs> save. We're owed two. <laughs> Man. Danny's not the only one who botched the PK. <laughs> That's got to make him, you know, feel a little better. Oh, yeah, we're equally bad at PKs in the front line as the back. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, man. Now for the risers, just trying to hold on to this win. Hold on, or hold on to this lead, rather. Big look for Paris. It was knocked down by Duluth. As they retain possession in the field, big, well done on their ball, find into space. Robinson pressures with Paris and Hofdog to win the ball back. It's Leonard now. Leonard has Marshall making a run. He cuts it back. He says, we'll keep the ball for a few extra touches. Duluth comes away with it. Big turnover here. Risers have to come come away with the, with the defensive stop. Shot blocked by the Risers' back line. Piles with a big recovery from the from the midfield. Going into stoppage time now. Risers just trying to kill the last minute of play. Looks like the long throw's coming in all the way out of the field for a goal kick. 
Duluth goes long. Risers are able to clear it back the other way. This has got to be the final whistle. It is. And the risers come away with a big six points uh, on the night, especially with Denton in, uh, at the top of the table dropping points today. It's a massive night for the risers. Two wins, especially the win over our rival, Milwaukee. Um, Danny, how do you feel tonight? Six points, I think. Uh, I have to look at the way the stats play out, but I think we're back top of the league. Top of the table. Uh, six points is a massive statement to everybody. I, I mean, yes, we did slip to third of the table, but that was simply just the goal differential tie break. Um, risers are back on top solo, though, hopefully, as, as long as... Um, well, barring results in other matches, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> they looked oh. good that game. I hope uh, Coach Styles will be happy. That game, they uh, they looked organized. We were peppering them. I'm going to be disappointed, obviously, with a, another PK miss. But well, we'll start working those in training. Yeah. They, uh, <laughs> That would suck if it comes down to, you know, PKs and we can't, uh... Can't convert. No. That'll be tough. We just gotta find the man to take the PKs. <clears throat> <laughs> Is that you, Danny? You caught him? You, you wanna step up? <laughs> no, we'll, 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 we got the guys capable of doing it. There's just some good saves. This uh, goalkeeper, he's actually the backup goalkeeper for uh, USA's national team. Really? Yeah, so pretty good. That's, that's pretty cool. I mean, we converted a, a, a nice goal against him, so it's a big win for us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in again tonight for the Muskegon Risers ENPSL games. Uh, took away six points. Congratulations to the Risers on a big night. We will be back on Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure who we play. And you know what? I have for, I have failed to mention this this week. The Port City supporters continue to donate $27 a goal. Uh, tonight was a big, a big donation to relief efforts in Minneapolis. So... Oh. I, I, I apologize for failing to mention this over over this week, but before we go, thank you to the Poor City supporters. If you want to help them out, go ahead and send them a, a direct message on Facebook. I'm sure they'd love to get your support. And we will see everybody on Tuesday at 10.30 Eastern. <laughs>